What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Raven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Heart Gold walkthrough. Okay, so it is finally time, guys, to get this whole thing going because it, it has been a while, a long time coming. It is finally time to go through the Elite Four challenge. That's right, guys. We trained very, very hard for this one, and now it's time. It's time. We're gonna fa we're gonna take on all five members of the Elite Four. Ironically, it's Elite Four, and then there's a champion. Don't know how he won. He just claimed the championship or whatnot. Don't know how, to, how that happened. They need to explain that, but here it is, guys. Our first challenger, he is a Psychic-type tra uh, trainer, and he got accepted into the Pokemon League. And, of course, losing is not an option. So here it is, guys, taking on Will, the first trainer of the Elite Four. And look at that. He's looking all prissy, all fancy, all that crud, and he is coming with a Zatu. And, well, very, very simple, guys. You are taking on Will. He will have some... The majority of his Pokemon will be Psychic-type Pokemon. Now, some of these guys have extra typings, like Flying, Grass, and whatnot. The best way to defeat these guys is through a Ghost-type Pokemon, a Dark-type Pokemon. Hell, even use a Bug-type Pokemon for those pure Psychic-type Pokemon. But for this case, Zatu getting beaten by an Electric-type Pokemon. That's no surprise right there. Look at that getting more experience points and now he's coming out with the jinx of course jinx is both a psychic and ice type pokemon you guys got to be careful with this one because it will try and confuse you will try and mess you up and all that crud and it's going to be funny if it does happen to you so here we go let's go with the flamethrower right here now off screen i did train my pokemon very very hard did teach him a few new moves i think through the tms and i want to say through the hard scales could be wrong though. Yes, the move relearner and all that stuff. And, well, some of you guys might say it's a little controversial that I may have given a, a move to a specific Pokemon rather than the, the Pokemon that needs to get the move. But you know what? It's my choice. I kind of wanted to see what happens right here with the kind of variety moves I got. So, we're going to go with what we got. So, here we go. Let's go for a discharge right here. Super or slow bro. Getting beaten. Getting beaten right there, slow bro. Goodbye. Yeah, buddy. Slowbro is no more, and well, let's go right ahead and uh, get some more experience points while we're at it, and continue on with our battle right here. Now, here he comes out with an Executor. Pokemon is a Grass and Psychic type Pokemon. Not that, not that hard to beat. Just make sure you have some good evasive moves and all that stuff. Now, when you are in the Pokemon League, at least have two or three Pokemon at least at level 50 because. Yeah, the very end, you got one Pokemon trainer that will try and mess with you really, really badly, and it's not going to be it's not going to be pretty. You're not going to like it and all that crud. So that's why I trained a few Pokemon at, le at least up to level 50, because we need to get this done. We really do. It's been how many months since we started this, this walkthrough? Paused it for a at least three, and then here we are back again. This is almost becoming reminiscent of the Pokemon Soul Silver I had when I was Pokemon, or when I was Draven XE711, so... We kind of need to speed this up because uh, we got stuff to do. We got walkthroughs to complete. 2021, we need to complete more walkthroughs and all that stuff. So, of course, he's coming out with one more Pokemon. And Zatu coming with a Confuse Ray. Do not necessarily like that. Hate it. And, well, confused as hell. We're going to hurt ourselves. That is bad. So, here we go again with a Psychic Attack onto us. Come on, Zatu. You, you stop being a jerk, man. Stop being a jerk. And yes, we are getting confused by confusion. Okay, so yeah. It looks like to me that Fluffle is not going to survive this one because it's just getting its butt kicked really, really badly. And here comes a discharge attack, finally. And well, there we go. Come on, say goodbye. Yes, Zatu has been defeated. I'm feeling good about it. Yes, I'm feeling happy about it. And Cinder grows to level 55, and there goes the first of the well, first four Elite Four members. Will, you, you kind of suck, man. You really do. You kind of suck. I don't know about this, but he's like, you're going to feel the ferocity of the Elite Four. No, I'm not. I'm going to feel the ferocity of Cinder and everything else. Now, make sure to buy a lot of items too, guys. A lot of healing items because uh, there will be some tough battles if you're coming in here unprepared and all that stuff. It's kind of a, it's kind of trivial. It really is. When I was a kid, 
Yeah. Didn't necess didn't use games or didn't use uh, healing items. Didn't think they were worth it. I just went straight up no healing items and then bam. Got my butt kicked a lot. Now here we have the next member of the Elite Four. And it's a familiar person and it is uh, Koga right here, the ninja trainer. So here it is guys, battle number two against Koga. Now he's he, now he's part of the Elite Four. Look at this, bam. Coming in like the ninja he is and yes, he is a poison type trainer. Let's go. Now, you are going to be taking on Koga, poison type trainer. But some of these poison types, they're kind of bug types. Hell, there might be a bug slash steel tap Pokemon. Who knows? It's one or the other right there. But the best way to defeat these guys, psychic type Pokemon, fire type Pokemon, hell, ground type Pokemon. Go for it. Now, there might be a Pokemon here with a fly capability. Don't forget about that rock type or electric type. That could work. Now, here's Fortress. The steel tap Pokemon that I was talking about, and well, it's gonna get quadruple damage mainly because of this. It's steel and bug type tape uh, typing and all that stuff. Oh yeah, look at that. Fortress has been defeated, and well, he's gonna be coming out with Muck. Well, I think I'm gonna go with another Pokemon right here. Might as well. And let's go with Relic right here. Now, as I'm kicking some butt, because I truly am kicking butt right here. I've been mentioning this in the last three to four episodes, guys, and it's got me really, really excited. Light Dark Neutral, the channel, the guy that has inspired me to come uh, or to go into YouTube and all that stuff. The one of the first few big-time YouTubers, PokeTubers, that has ever been on YouTube is finally back. Uh, the link is down there on the description. The the channel is right there on my channel, featured right there on the featured channels. Make sure to go check out his uh, his content. He is back. This is one of the first few people that actually inspired me to go into YouTubing, PokeTubing, and all that stuff. And uh, yeah, I did have a brief conversation with him. And yeah, he, he he's had a he's had an interesting ten years. And well, I'm actually glad that he's back and ready to go because hey, he, he he's ready to make some more walkthrough videos and all that stuff. Unfortunately, he can't get the old ones back. But guess what? I'm, I have no doubt in my mind that he's going to come out with some better ones now that he's back from what it is that he has been been through and, well, can't wait to see all those walkthrough videos. Now, going back right here, Crobat, of course, yeah, Crobat is just uh, being a you-know-what, but guess what, Psybeam will take care of that. Oh yeah, Psybeam, oh yeah, Psybeam. Finishes this guy off. Now you can't really you can't really tell if this guy is actually like getting eliminated or not because like when it goes red and goes onto the one, it, it can trick you. Red or not red and all that stuff. I don't know, that's just me. So we're gonna switch out our Pokemon. Let's go with Cinder right here. And well, this guy coming out with his strongest Pokemon, Venomoth. And what is he going to say? One Pokemon left? Yes. <laughs> He's been counting from this one since the very beginning. So Let's go ahead and burn him to a crisp. Venomoth has been defeated right here. Look at that. Oh yeah, Venomoth. Oh yeah, Venomoth has been defeated. I I am kicking some butt, guys. I really am. Now, I, w I want to say the first three of the Elite Four in this version, or in Gold, Silver, Crystal, easy Pokemon to actually defeat. Pokemon trainers to defeat. The third one is usually the trickiest one, so just keep an eye out for that one. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Oh, wow. Don't need to heal any of my Pokemon. That's a first. Never mind. Never friggin' mind. Let's go right ahead and move on to the next trainer. Now, you see me pausing right here. That's me just saving the game and, you know, restarting all over again. Because, of course, of this whole glitch that we have here on Pokemon Soul Silver and Heart Gold... So, let's go right ahead and switch out our Pokemon right here. Let's go with Relic. Now, Bruno, he's an old-timey Elite Four member. You may have remember him from Pokemon Red, Blue, Yellow, Heart Gold, or no, 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 not Heart Gold, but Fire Red and Leaf Green. And, well, Homie here has not changed a bit. Now, the Pokemon that he may have are Brute Strength Pokemon. Ground type, Fighting type, and the occasional Steel type, if he's coming out with a Steel type right here, but mainly Fighting type Pokemon. Now, this is a new one right here. He is coming out with a Hitmon top. Let's go right ahead and use a Psybeam attack. 
Let's go, Psybeam. And what does Psybeam do? It does this. Nearly defeats Hitmontop. This guy actually does survive, but tries to use counter on me, which that ain't the case. And he's using up one friggin' full restore right here. So let's go right ahead and go with another Psybeam attack for the win. Come on, and god dang it, he survived. That Pokemon's relentless. Okay, so he is not going to waste another full restore on this Pokemon right here, so let's go right ahead and just uh, finish him off with the Psybeam, yeah. Okay, alrighty, so who's next? And he, of course, he's going to be coming out with his usual Onyx right here. Now, it won't be until, like, the second go-around that you'll see new Pokemon and a full team on the Elite Four. In Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul Silver, they made it possible for you to challenge these guys again with even stronger Pokemon. So just be aware of just be aware of what Pokemon they they, they they have because you might not see them very long. They might just, you know, change it up, boost them up and all that stuff. That time you spent at the Kanto region might just screw you over a little bit. Now here we go. Talks to Batman about to take on the next Pokemon right here. And this guy's coming out with a Hitmon Lee. The Bruce Lee of the Hitmons. So let's go with a fly attack. Two turn attack right here. Let's go. Let's get this. Let's finish him off with a fly attack. Yeah, buddy. And of course, I am getting uh, I'm getting a, a lot of text messages right now. Lots and lots and lots of text messages. Now, let's see. Cinder defeated, or no, Cinder's just... <laughs> yeah, Cinder is technically, uh... Cinder is technically just mooching off the guys' uh, experiences and all that stuff, but that's alright. So, here we go. Thunder Punch, nothing, and let's go with a fly. Of course, we don't hit him, and now we are the victim of a Thunder Punch right here. So friggin' ridiculous. Oh my god. Nearly get defeated, and look at that. We get paralyzed, so now... Yeah, Toxic Batman does not fare well right here, and there go. Oh, nearly defeats Toxic Batman, and well, we can't do anything. We're not fast enough, and if we try to heal, he's just gonna try and, uh, yeah. You know what? Screw it. We're just gonna heal and see, and just hope for the best. I think that's. I think that. I think that's a, a good thing. You know, we're gonna be hoping for the best. Hoping that Docs and Batman doesn't faint against this Fire Punch right here, and... Oh, God. Fire Punch doesn't really do anything. So, here we go again with another Fly Attack. Hopefully, this finishes this guy off, and Ice Punch... He's just rotating his punches. Good God. How many punches do you have? I mean, there is Drain Punch. That is a Grass-type move, right? And, well, there goes Hitmonchan. Defeated. Okay, alrighty, and look at that. Thanks to our Shell Bell, we grow a little bit more. Well, we gain our HP back and all that. And he's going to be coming out with a Machamp. Now, this Pokemon right here, you need to be careful for. Because it is a super powerful Pokemon when it comes to Brute Strength. And it will try to mess with you if you are a Flying-type Pokemon. Meaning, it does have, uh, what was it called again? Stealth Rock? No. Uh, some kind of Rock-type move that is uh, pretty, pretty hard. Pretty bad. Pretty brutal and all that stuff. So... Here we go with a side beam attack. Come on, finish him. Fini oh, crud. And that Machamp. Oh, crud. Oh, crud. Machamp it does have a Citrus Berry, and now it's about to use a Rock Slide attack. Uh, crud. Okay, so that's not a lot. He's saying they're standing firm. Okay, that's fine, but guess what? Here we go with the side beam attack. And there we go, side beam attack. Does the trick. Say goodbye to Machamp. Oh, yeah. Look at that relic. Gaining its points, and it grows to level 53. That is great. And Cinder, of course, mooching off the levels right there. And, well, that's another victory for us. And now... Yeah, he has no right to say anything. And he's just telling us to go to our next challenge, which, of course, is the Dark-type trainer. I think Karen, that's what her name is. I don't even remember. I really don't. Really don't care. Now it's time for Hercules right here. Okay. Let's see. We gotta heal our Pokemon first. So let's go with a Hyper Potion. Let's give that to Relic right here. Yeah, buddy. And... 
Well, let's go right ahead and take care of business right here with uh, Karen or whatever her name is. Cynthia? Karen? I don't even know. Yes, Karen. The Karen of the Elite Four. She is going to talk to our managers right now and she wants us to entertain her. Okay, so let's go right ahead and take on the final member of the Elite Four, Karen. And yeah, that name does, did not, yeah, it did not age well, especially for today's times. Here she comes out with an Ombreon. And well, of course we got Hercules, Bug type, and Fighting type. Double, double the uh, the weakness for this Ombreon right here. And look at this, close combat. Come on, finish it off. And there goes Ombreon. I was kind of dreading it because, yeah, if it didn't make a faint, then it was going to faint the next turn. Knowing my luck, it probably would have. I don't even know. So here comes a Murkrow. Let's go right ahead and switch out our Pokemon right here. Let's do it. Switch out the Murkrow, and we got Fluff Bolt. Let's go right ahead. See what this Murkrow is all about. Let's see. Let's go with a Discharge right here, and of course, Fate Attack will not miss. And well, let's go right ahead and paralyze this guy right here. And here we go. Discharge Attack does it. Say goodbye to Murkrow. Come on, say goodbye to Murkrow. Goodbye, Murkrow. Alrighty. Look at that, Fluffbolt. Man, getting some points right there. That's pretty cool. That's awesome right there. And look at that, Cinder. Because it's smooching off the experience point, it gets to level 56. And, well, now it's coming out with a uh, a Gengar. Now, this is a Pokemon we gotta... We, yeah. <laughs> we gotta, we gotta work, look out for it because it is fast, but it is weak against Psychic-type Pokemon right here. Don't know... Don't necessarily know why it's a Dark-type Pokemon, but... Here comes a spite attack. Doesn't work. Let's go with a side beam attack. And come on. Say goodbye. Say goodbye. And say goodbye. Look at that. Say goodbye to Gengar. Okay. Alrighty. Look at that. And well, Hound Doom coming for you. <sighs> Let's go for a Nessie attack right here. So we we, we got the, we got everything covered right now. Everything's covered, and she is coming out with Hound Doom. If you guys don't remember, do have Hound Doom on my Platinum team, named Hera. And here comes the nasty plot. Don't know what it wants to do. It's, oh crud. It's special attack has risen sharply and all that crud. So, here we go, Surf Attack. Come on, say goodbye. Oh, damn. Okay, and of course, it is equipped with a berry. So, yeah, that is uh, going to heal this Pokemon just a little bit. So here comes a Flamethrower Attack. Oh crud, oh crud, oh crud. Flamethrower. Going on us. And, oh god. So that nasty plot, was, that nasty plot actually does work right there. So here we go. Surf attack. Does it for the win. Okay. Alrighty. Okay, and look at that. Nessie grows to level 51. What's up? Okay. So who's next? the last Pokemon and she will be coming out with a vile plume again I don't know why she has these kinds of Pokemon I really don't know it's kind of weird it's odd it really is odd to me so here she comes out with a vile plume and it's time Karen time to talk to your manager right here okay let's go flamethrower for the win oh yeah yeah, we're gonna make this Karen all mad, just like the real Karens in life. Look at that, say goodbye to Vileplume. What now? Look at that, an Elite Four Karen has been defeated, and yes, she wants to talk to our managers because we defeated her. Oh well. So, after that, strong Pokemon, weak Pokemon, the only selfish per perception of people, truly skilled trainers, should try to win it with the Pokemon with style and all that stuff. Okay, so now, it is finally time for us to take on the Pokemon League Champion. Now, this is what I was talking about. How in the heck did Lance win the Pokemon League without defeating Red? Did he just assume it? Because he was a member of the Pokemon Elite Four. I just want to know. Now, if there's a story behind that, I need to know. If you guys know about it, just comment down below, please. I need to know. I really, 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 really need to know. So, let's go right ahead and, uh, well, I guess not transition into the next one. Let's move on to the next one right here. Okay, so, 
Let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon right here. Now, Lance. Lance is a scary, scary Pokemon trainer. A very scary Pokemon trainer. Especially in Pokemon uh, Red, Blue, Yellow, Leaf Green, Fire Red. Yeah, he does have some pretty damn strong Pokemon right here. So here he is. He's been waiting for us. Draven. I knew you and your skills would eventually reach me here. There's no need for words now. We will battle to determine who is the stronger of the two of us. As a powerful trainer, as the league champion, I, dra Lance the Dragon Trainer, challenge you. Okay, so here we go. The championship battle against Batman. I mean, Lance. And he will be coming out with his own Hydra. I mean, Gyarados. And just like that, we we have our... Yeah, yeah, our attack is lowered and all that stuff. But here comes the waterfall. Can this do it to me? I don't know. Let's find out. There it is. You got paralyzed because, yes, waterfall is a physical type move. So let's get this discharge. And... Well, can it do it? Will it do it? It's quadruple damage. Yes, it does. Critical hit. How's it feel to fail? Feels good. Feels very, very good for him. So, let's go right ahead and take on that Dragonite right here. And that is one of, I think, three Dragonites. Or, I don't know. Does he have three Dragonites? Am I confused? I'm, pro I'm, pro I'm probably confused with the, uh, the other version of Dragonite. But, here he comes out with a Dragonite. And... If I'm not mistaken, each one of the well, each one of his Dragonites will have a specific elemental move, like Ice Beam, Thunder Punch, Flamethrower, that kind of stuff. You know, you guys know what I'm talking about. But here it is, Ice type move defeats this Dragonite. Say goodbye to Dragonite. Look at that. Too easy. Too friggin' easy. He's coming out with an Aerodactyl. Let's go right ahead and continue our assault right here with Nessie. Okay. Nessie's using that pressure. Guess what? No problem. I'm gonna use Surf Attack and well, Rock Slide is kicking our butts right now. And it is super effective since Nessie is part Ice type Pokemon. So let's go right ahead and use the Surf Attack right here. Look at this. Surf Attack. Can it do it? Will it do it? Come on, come on. And nearly does it. Obviously, he's gonna heal that Pokemon. So let's go right ahead and take it one step closer. We, should have, we probably should have used hy hy uh, Hydro Pump. Probably. I don't know. We shall see. So here we go. Surf Attack. Can it do it? Will it do it? Can it do it? Yes, it can. Say goodbye to Aerodactyl. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Okay. Alrighty. So we're getting experience points up the you know who. And here he comes out with another Dragonite, of course. This Dragonite's at level 49, so I'm assuming this is his, uh, oh crud, yeah. This is the Dragonite that knows Thunder. This is kind of fucked up right here. And, ooh, survived with one HP. Okay, we can get one good hit on this guy since we are paralyzed. This might do it. Come on, Nessie, you are the MVP if he makes him fake. And look at that, or she makes him fake, I don't even know. So look at that, guys. Another victory, and he's coming out with his final Dragonite. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch out my Pokemon. Might have to sacrifice Cinder for this one right here because, uh, yeah, Nessie has been kicking butt. Lots of butt. So much butt that it's just, it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. So let's go with the rollout attack right here. Now, Dragonite may be a Dragon-type Pokemon, but it's also a Flying-type Pokemon. And it is weak against Rock-type attacks. Of course, it will try and paralyze me right here, because, you know, it's me. And, well, Dragon Rush misses. We are paralyzed. That lowers the momentum of the rollout attack right here. So, <clears throat> what needs to happen is I need a full restore on my Cinder just to at least have some kind of a chance. Come on. Let's get this. Dragon Rush does its thing. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay, so there we go. We're not... We're not necessarily out of the woods just yet, but here comes a rollout attack. Remember, rollout gets stronger with every single turn if it doesn't fail. And of course, Dragonite is trying to make us faint right here. Or trying to make us paralyze and all that crud. So, yes, here comes a Dragon Rush. And that one nearly makes us faint, but here comes a second rollout. This might actually do it. And no, it doesn't. And of course, Dragonite will get a full restore. 
So this gives us one more shot at the rollout. It's going to be a little bit stronger this time around. Come on. Go down. Finish him. God dang it. And, well, is roll... Oh, wow. Oh, man. We had a chance to defeat him right there. Good gravy. Okay. All right. I can do this. I can do this. I'm okay. Okay, so here's a full restore. We're going to just give it to Cinder right here. I could have given it to Nessie, but I kind of feel like Cinder has the best chance of taking on Dragonite right here. So let's go right ahead and restore this guy. Here comes another Dragon Rush. Dragonite, you ain't nothing. You're nothing. So here we go. Roll out. Oh, no, not roll out, but here comes a double edge attack. And that does it right there for Dragonite. Now we're going to take a little bit of recoil, but that's okay. We defeated another guy right there, and now it is time to learn Eruption right here. Now, Eruption is a very powerful move, but I believe it is very inaccurate. Nope, it's super powerful. Now, the lower the user's HP, the, le the less power it is. Now, I'm going to I'm going to switch it out with uh, Dragon Edge, or no, not Dragon Edge, but Double Edge. So now let's learn Eruption. Let's go right ahead and switch out our Pokemon, or not switch out. Let's go right ahead and take on Charizard right here. It is both a fire and flying type Pokemon. So Rollout is going to do some quadruple damage to this guy. And look at that. Nearly takes half his HP. Oh yes, here it is. Oh god! We could have defeated him right there and... Oh gravy. Okay, so here we go. Roll out again. Come on. Finish him. And that is it. Oh wow. It, no, he survived. Oh crud. You see, it's really hard to tell if you beat him or not. Charizard survived with one HP. We could have defeated him right here and then. Oh god, okay. Let's go with Fluff Vault. Okay, Fluff Vault. You don't like me and I don't like you, but guess what? We need to beat this guy. Let's go Thunder Punch. And of course Lance wants to be that dick. And he wants to use a full restore to Charizard. So what's going to happen is let's get this Thunder Punch right here. And Thunder Punch. Can it do it? Nearly does it. And let's go again. Here he comes with the Fire Fang. This guy is literally trying his best to survive right here. So here comes Thunder Punch for the win. And there you go. How does it feel to fail, Lance? The champ is here. What now? Look at that, and look at that. Fluffle is learning light screen. What should we take out? Yes, we're gonna not learn it right now. We're not. Okay, so there it is, guys. We finally defeated Lance of the Elite Four, the champion, by the way. And, uh, well... This ends a how many month long uh, wait for me to get to the Pokemon League. It's a long time guys, a long 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 and very very long time and I am glad to finally get to this point right here because now I kind of want to say it's smooth sailing because we're going to be going into Kanto next and uh, well there's a lot, of, there's still a lot of material yet to be done right here now. Of course Professor Oak is impressed. He, the dedication, love, and patience that you have for your Pokemon. It's outstanding. Congratulations, Draven. Thank you, thank you. And Mary wants to get an interview with me, but I'm not going to let her because Lance needs to induct me into the WWE Hall of Fame. I mean, the uh, Hall of Fame of Pokemon trainers right here. That would be cool, man. Inducted into the Hall of Fame. WWE Hall of Fame, I should say. Okay, so here we are into the Hall of Fame and he's like it's long been a long time since he's been here now of course this is the place that commemorates the uh, the champions and yes the rise of a new champion right here and all his Pokemon succeeded through perseverance and, and whatever and well the makings of all greatness and all that stuff I'm paraphrasing right now guys so here it is we are inducting our Pokemon into the Hall of Fame finally it's finally been time so there it is guys our Pokemon we got Fluffle the Amphros met at Route 32 yeah pretty good Pokemon here we have Nessie the uh, Lapras right here level 51 Union Cave is the place we, where we met this guy right here and then here you have Toxic Batman this guy right here level 49 met him at Dark Cave 
very easy Pokemon to capture and all that crud. And look at this, Hercules. The man, the myth, the legend. Hercules at level 53 at Azalea Town. And last but not least, oh no, I'm just kidding. Here we have Relic Gachu at Goldenrod City. Yeah, level 53. And last but not least, our starter Pokemon, Cinder. And of course, we got him at level 5 at New Bark Town. Now it's at level 57. And now, the Pokemon League champion, your boy, good old Draven. Draven Carbone, right here. That's right, guys. We are the champions of the Johto region for the 45th time, I think. God dang. That's a lot of times. That is a lot of times, guys. <laughs> Anywho. So this concludes the... Uh, this concludes the main adventure right here, guys, of Pokemon Heart Gold. I'm going to go into a little bit of a dialogue right here for the last five minutes or so. So, a few months back, I would like to say is in July or so, I decided against doing Pokemon Soul Silver again because remember, when I was driving XC711, did it twice, took me a long time, yeah, it wasn't worth it. Uh, right here, I wanted to try something new, and a year later, practically a year later, we're almost out of this pandemic. I got my, I literally got my vaccine yesterday, which is cool. Feeling great, by the way. And now, I could say, I can honestly say that Heart Gold is one of the few walkthroughs that I've actually succeeded on completing with all the other ones that I, I completed last last year, 2020, the year of the pandemic and all that stuff. So that's freaking awesome right there, guys. Now, what does this say about the next few uh, the next few weeks, the next few months and all that stuff? Obviously, we need to finish this game in its entirety through the Kanto region, the red thing, and the events. That is a lot of episodes, but I'm going to try my best to do everything I can now that I have a uh, studio to actually work on my uh, work on my stuff while I'm at work. So keep an eye out for that. I'm going to take like at least I want to say two weeks off for Pokemon Heart Gold, guys. That way I can record more episodes, and then from there we're gonna see where we go. You know, battling trainers, gym leaders, and all that stuff, narration and all that crud, and yeah, you'll see what happens. Uh, what does that say about other walkthroughs? Let's see. Sword and Shield will be back. I promise you that, guys. I've been, I've been training my Pokemon. They will be back. And uh, what else? Pokemon Snap. I hope you guys are loving that one right there. And what else? What else? What else? What else? Yes, uh, Pokemon Stadium. Pokemon Stadium 1 and 2, they will be... Oh, they're, 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 they're going to continue pretty soon right here. I'm just, you know, again, taking it little by little to get all the episodes up right now. Do not worry, guys. Now, another big thing, I'm going to mention this again. Light Dark Neutral is back on YouTube, so make sure to go, go ahead and check out his channel. He's one of the old school uh, YouTubers that I've... I was watching since the very beginning, guys. Main main reason why I got onto YouTube. He will be featured onto my channel right here. And the link is on the description, so make sure to check him out. And, uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. I don't really have anything else to say. Except for, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for all your patience. I will be back for another episode of Pokemon Heart Gold in about two to three weeks. And we will be ready to conquer the Kanto region yet again. So... Thank you guys again. I will see you guys next time.